Jesus promised that those who live in him will have life and have it abundantly. At Saints Peter and Paul, it's our privilege, our joy, to accompany families through some of the most important moments of their lives. The Astuni family has been a part of our school community for seven years. During this past year in particular, they have been courageous witnesses of accepting God's call to the fullness of life, even amidst life's joys and trials. Hi, I'm Mario. I've got uh, two children at St. Peter and Paul, uh, Leonardo Ostuni, who's in third grade, and Penelope Ostuni, who is in second grade. And we are very proud of both of them being at St. Peter and Paul. I'm Lauren. I'm a labor and delivery nurse. And I am witness to the joys and pains that new life brings. I've been privileged to be with many women and families um, as they welcome their babies into this world, um, as well as some of our families at St. Peter and Paul. We also personally know the joy of holding a new and healthy baby and the emptiness of the loss of a baby. After Penelope's birth, we felt a deep desire that God wanted to grow our family. That desire wouldn't make God's plan known until this past year. We um, experienced several miscarriages in the past five years, and our Saints Peter and Paul community was with us for all of the joy and all of the trials. Fall of last year, we found out that we were expecting another baby, and overwhelmed with joy, we were still a little concerned about letting family and friends know because of the pain that we've gone through. After about five months, when we realized that uh, we were pretty much in the clear, we decided to share with everybody and ask for prayers. However, the pregnancy was met with many complications. Um, the doctors were sure that I would need a high-risk cesarean birth because I had a placenta previa. When I found out this news, I asked the school moms to join in a novena to St. Philomena um, and pray for the placenta to move and much to the doctor's disbelief, when I came in for a checkup, the placenta had moved. Um, we totally attribute that to the miracle of the power of prayer in our community. Two weeks or so before the due date of Philomena, I received a call about 10 minutes later and said that I needed to hurry, that Philomena was on the way. With the grace of God, I made it down and to the door right as Filomeno was born. Uh, the doctors informed me that uh, if Lauren wouldn't have been to work that night, that uh, I probably would have lost both of them. So the power of prayer brought Lauren to the hospital and Filomeno to us. We are just so grateful for all of the support that we've received. Um, after Philomena was born, from meal trains to babysitting, prayers, the community at St. Peter and Paul really rallies for each other. We love to help our, mom, our dad feed her. And we, we love to play with her. She's really playful. Yeah. Uh, we love our baby sister. Yeah. This great joy was soon met with tremendous loss and the St. Peter and Paul community was with us for that trial as well. In August of 2022, Lauren's mother, Sharon, entered the hospital with a uh, series of increasingly serious health problems. We realized after a few weeks in the ICU that God might be preparing my mom for eternal life. My mom courageously fought through cancer uh, as a teenager. The treatment, though, left her with lifelong health complications. Growing up, my mom was the rock of our family. Even though her health was always fragile, she taught us to welcome life um, and all of its challenges with faith, courage, and hope. Sarah and I were married for three months shy of 40 years. 
They were incredible 40 years and very blessed. One heck of a mother. Two great joys of her life to start with were her two kids and then followed up by the grandkids, especially little Philomena, who she was blessed with seeing her being baptized in her room in the hospital. This spring, mom seemed to know what we did not, that her health was changing, and that God was preparing her to meet him face to face. Sharon went in for a pacemaker battery replacement on September 28th, 22. She had some serious complications and was admitted to the ICU the day after she went in. After five days in the ICU, we called in the Army, the Carmelite Sisters. They came down and prayed with us and sang. And I'll never forget the peace on her face. Those days in October were easily some of the hardest of my life. And even in the midst of awful suffering, God was there and he gave me grace and love and filled my heart with strength to continue. He brought the love and prayers of the St. Peter and Paul school community, as well as the priests to walk with us. My mom was an incredible woman, wife, and grandmother to all of us. She'll be greatly missed. She left an example of motherhood that I'll spend my whole life trying to imitate. Her greatest gift was showing us God's love. I hope that my children know God through me like I do through her. We're so grateful for the St. Peter and Paul community who support us, helping our children experience the abundant life found through our faith.